Conventional activated sludge is the most common method used in many wastewater treatment plants. Like other treatment technologies, the conventional activated sludge process has four main treatment stages. The preliminary, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Preliminary treatment begins with screening. When raw wastewater enters the system, it contains floating debris and garbage such as rags, rocks, and bottles. These debris need to be removed to prevent damaging the equipment for other processes. Bar screens are used to remove them and is often made of equally spaced metal bars with mechanical scrapers. Screening is used to prevent clogging of equipment, reduce costs of treatment by removing physical contaminants, and reduce volume of sludge produced. The flow of raw wastewater varies from time to time. Varying wastewater flows can cause inconsistent treatment efficiencies and improper equipment sizes. After screening, flow equalization is used to reduce variation of wastewater flows, equipment sizes, treatment costs, and increase treatment efficiency. Primary treatment starts with sedimentation. In sedimentation, the organic matter and particles that are present in the wastewater settle at the bottom of sedimentation tanks or clarifiers. Typical configurations of sedimentation tanks are circular and rectangular. Sedimentation is used to partially remove settleable particles and organic matter to reduce costs of further treatment. Secondary treatment starts after primary sedimentation. The secondary treatment process determines the type of treatment technology that will be used. The most common treatment technologies and their secondary treatment processes are conventional activated sludge using aeration, sequencing batch reactor using a single basin fill and draw scheme, and moving bed biofilm reactor using a membrane for microorganisms to attach. After primary sedimentation, the wastewater still contains particles and organic matter, and these are consumed and decomposed by microorganisms. To help increase the number of microorganisms in the wastewater, air is supplied through blowers or diffusers. When the organic matter is consumed and decomposed by microorganisms, it is converted to a cell mass that can be removed by sedimentation. Aeration is used to provide oxygen for the microorganisms to multiply and remove the organic matter. In addition, it also prevents the emission of foul odor during treatment. After aeration, a secondary sedimentation tank is constructed to allow the remaining organic matter and cell mass to settle. This process further improves the quality of the treated wastewater. The settled organic matter and cell mass form a semi-solid matter called sludge. To maintain the concentration of microorganisms, the volume of sludge returned to the aeration tank and sludge removed from the system is controlled. Wastewater is further treated based on the regulatory effluent parameters that it needs to comply. The most common tertiary treatment process used is disinfection, wherein the remaining pathogens or disease-causing microorganisms is killed. Common disinfection process use chlorination or UV disinfection. The wastewater is treated to comply with the effluent standards set in the DENR Administrative Order 2016-08 and its update DAO 2021-19.